Mark in Elgin, Illinois. This is FreePrescriptionLenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. I am the hardest working man in the optical industry. My name is Seymour Better, but call me Mo. Mo Better, because I'm having Seymour Mo Better look and Mo Better. And show everyone else how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses when I cut the Zeiss Light D digital freeform progressive lenses with the Zeiss Photo Fusion Extra Gray and the Silver Flash Mirror for Marks. Oakley 5141, which is the Deadbolt Color 03, which is the Satin Chrome. And hang on, my website designer is uh, calling me. Hello, congratulations, you have called WFPL. You're the 10th caller, you have won the right to be on the air. <laughs> WFPL. I know, and in your neck of the woods is KFPL. On the East Coast, it's a W for the radio stations. Um, okay. So I'm I'm doing yeah, a video. A request. Yeah. What's your request? Yes, uh, for a song called uh, "I Can See Clearly Now." <laughs> the rain is gone. All right. Well, I'll give you a call back after I'm done with the video. Say goodbye to Mark in Elgin, Illinois. Bye, Mark. <laughs> All right, I'll call you back later. Bye-bye. Okay, the rest of tonight's performance will be free of any interruptions. I just won't answer any more. And before I begin, I just want to mention uh, Mark wanted to give a big shout-out to his son, Luke, who he loves very, very much. And Mark would stop whatever he's doing to take a call from Luke, I'm sure, just like I did. Although I don't love JJ that much. But don't tell JJ. Don't let him watch this video. <laughs> so, um, anyway, okay. So, yeah, Zeiss Photofusion lenses with the silver flash mirror. No, no, no. I take that back. Gold flash. Gold flash, which they call the amber. This is the gold flash mirror. Don't worry, Mark. I've, I've got you. By the way, thank you very much, Mark. I normally... These lenses take about 7 to 10 days, and they took all of 10 business days during the pandemic. Years from now, when people watch this video, there was really a pandemic in 2020? Yes. Yes, there was. Thank you very much for, for asking. So, let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to take the frame out of the original packaging that Oakley sends it to me. The hard shell Oakley case. Inside of the hard shell is the cleaning cloth slash carrying bag. If you don't want to carry around the hard case, you can carry it around in this bag, which doubles as a cleaning cloth. Don't believe me? Squeaky, 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 squeaky clean. Of course, it comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. And I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. This is the Oakley 5141 Deadbolt. Color 03, the satin chrome with a little bronze pewter, whatever color that is, uh, accent piece. You're never going to see this, but this is the 5141. Does it say deadbolt anywhere? Yes, yes it does. You might be able to read where it says deadbolt right there. Um, so let's begin. I'm going to pop out the original demo lenses. Put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker. By the way, the guy who so rudely interrupted me, actually he didn't know. I was the one who rudely answered the call. That is JJ who is building me a new website that for months I have said will be completed in two weeks and, and that's going to be true. By the way, all lenses starting tomorrow, I've got some good news, all lenses starting tomorrow will be free from any radioactive isotopes and not contain any contamination. But until then, Mark gets the last pair of the radioactive ones. So Luke, challenge your dad Mark to a game of hide and seek at night because his head is going to glow. You'll be able to find him. So, but, uh, so anyway, I need to mark this shape. Don't look at my thumbnail. Doesn't that look like a little shark fin in the water? And a uh, fun fact, never slam your thumb in a sliding door <laughs> or that's going to happen. So that's my telltale sign. All right. So I'm going to program the shape into the computer. So years from now, should you ever need new lenses for this frame, I can cut them and mail them right to your home and you'll see how to install them. You are secret agent 3325. Hit the start button a little stylus is going to pop up go around trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left here at freeprescriptionlenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality you buy any genuine oakley frame that i offer all my frames are genuine 
and I will include one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they are prescription or not. Mark, you know you need prescription. Now, you'll get, uh, my receipt has my federal ID tax number that I can provide to you upon request so you can get a full reimbursement from your health savings account flex dollars, or I do not accept any vision insurance plans, but I can give you that itemized receipt that you can file for your out-of-network reimbursement. Get in touch with your insurance company because I do not know how much they will reimburse for. Every plan is different, but you will get money back to you sent to your home in the form of a check. So I need to enter your pupillary distance, which is 31. Computer starts at 32.5, so I'm gonna tap the minus button a few times till we get to 31. I'm gonna raise the optical center up to 25.5, 25.5. And let me take your right lens out that is marked on here, the right to lens. Take it out, place it onto the platform. I need to change the layout screen from single vision to progressive. So I'm going to do that, do that, 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 to do that, that, and get everything laid. Oh, this is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. I need two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I've got them here. Oops, oops, yep, 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 yep. That's an optical term. Yep, 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 yep. I'd explain it to you, but you wouldn't understand. So, pull the paper away, make the black side sticky. That silver button on the back is going to line up to another silver metallic button there. Place that there, place that one on the platform, get everything lined up now as so. I always get quiet when I do this so I can concentrate. Concentrate, concentrate! Always like to make sure the lens is large enough, and it is. Hit that button, the arm's gonna come down, place the block onto the right lens. We're gonna do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right, which I can identify with. But the other thing I'm gonna do, I always like to document everything. You're gonna get all the manufacturer's original packaging. This is the right progressive light D. 18 is the fitting height. Well, it just means long corridor versus short corridor. This is the photo fusion polycarbonate extra gray, the EXG, with the DuraVision mirror flash amber which I call the gold flash mirror. The prescription for the right eye, which is plus a quarter with the 150 add. And let's go ahead and do the same thing for the left lens. It's harder to write on here when there's a lens inside there. And the prescription plus a quarter minus 50 at 70. And if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. <laughs> you know that bad joke was coming somewhere in there. Okay, so I need to place the lens on the platform, take the Peel away the sticker, making the black side sticky. Your pupillary distance is 33. So I'm going to tip the plus button a few times. Oop, I overshot it until we get to 33. Get everything laid out as such. As such. Hit that button. The arm's going to come down, place the block onto the left lens. Now, the other thing, these are your little personal things that. Zeiss goes even more into detail. They give you an 8 by 11 piece of paper. It's called the compensation form because these are digital free form progressive lenses. So you have a compensated distance prescription, comps compensated near prescription, the laser engravings that come on every progressive lens. So when you next time you're in the doctor's office and they just casually ask you, what are you wearing? Boom, hand them this. Say, Doc, I am wearing the progressive light D polycarbonate photo fusion they just don't put the extra gray here the prescription for the what are we doing what are we doing here the okay it's on top the right eye the bifocal strength the left eye the bifocal strength the right and left pd the base curve and i'm doing an executive decision i ordered these at 25.5 i'm going to cut them at 25.5 millimeters high I know it's half a millimeter's difference, but it means all the difference to me. Now, again, if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. I know it's a bad joke, but you'll be telling it tomorrow. So, this is the tracer, this is the blocker, this is the edger. This costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy their own, put it on your kitchen counter. Then you could cut your own lenses at home, and you will need this guy with the two thumbs to do it for you. Actually, the two thumbs with the, with the shark fin on one of the thumbs. 
Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Don't sing that song. Why? I like baby shark, do 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 do. I told you, don't sing that song. Oh, thumb war. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. <laughs> Wait, am I supposed to be working? Okay. All right. So, where am I at? I'm gonna grab this. I need to transfer the data from here to here, so I'm going to wake up the computer. Secret Agent 3325. 3325, or as I like to say, installment 3325 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. So stay tuned for episode number 330 million, because spoiler alert, something wacky is going to happen. So... These are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that or some space-age futuristic TBD, to-be-determined later material. But we're going to stay with polycarbonate because that's my lens material of choice. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lenses. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I am going to place one on the rear concave surface of the lens. I'm now going to place the magnet into, now the magnet's going to do a job its second time. It's going to attach itself, hey, open back up, there we go. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck, or by now, you know I like to call it the Charles, because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. By the way, did I mention free bad jokes with the purchase of every pair of glasses made? All right, so I'm going to hit the green start button. That clean door, the secret agent 2840 is going to comment on. The door is going to close, the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. Now, Secret Agent 2840 is obsessed with the cleanliness of this door. I think his favorite Muppet characters are the old men who sit up in the balcony and heckle everything. Wait, those are my two favorite characters. I mean, I got something in common with him, but I know I'd be doing a video, so I clean this door, which takes me all of two minutes plus... 15 hours and 17 seconds. <laughs> okay, two minutes. So it's nice and clean. Now the water you see flickering in the background is water to catch the optical sawdust. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, meaning that no water sprays onto them while they are cutting, unlike plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex, which are all different lens materials, that water sprays on them the entire time they are cutting. Now water will spray onto these lenses, Luke, are you paying attention, Luke? Water will spray onto these lenses for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris that you may see beginning to form. But your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. These are high-impact, ballistics-grade lens material. The same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel, from flying debris, and their Oakleys. It also has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that have to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in your direct exposure to the sun, this is permanent and never needs to be reapplied. It gives you sunglass level UV protection and a clear lens. Speaking of protection, the Zeiss Photofusion Extra Gray lenses automatically come with 50 to 70 percent blue light protection built into the lenses. You have the gold flash mirror on the front of the lens. You have the DuraVision Sun back surface anti-glare coating on the back of the lens. So you have the most complete protection of any of the lenses available. Again, gold flash mirror on the front, anti-glare on the back of the lens, which helps Reduce glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, street lights, stoplights, computer screens, and above. You have the Photofusion Extra Gray, which goes through the lens, and the blue light protection all the way through as well. So you have the most complete protection. Well, except for them being radioactive. But starting tomorrow, <laughs> but these are hypoallergenic, low in sodium. Um, they're gluten free. You got that going for you, Mark. And what else are they? It's a dessert topping and a floor wax. <laughs> okay, you have to be old to get that joke, like me. All right, so I'm gonna take the lens out of the chuck. Thank you, Chuck. Dry everything off. We're gonna see if they make sure all the optical sawdust is off the lens. Going to find the frame for starters, and let's see, I need a Phillips head screwdriver. 
So we're going to do a little bit lefty loosey. So for the metal frames, I have this tray. For anyone at home, if you want to change out the lenses, get a glass or a metal baking dish. Get a paper towel, a dish towel, or a t-shirt. Put it in the baking dish so that if you just so happen to drop the screw, it doesn't hit a hard surface and bounce on the floor. It grabs something soft and stays in there. Now I'm going to do a little bit of lefty loosey. And again, the good thing about the unbreakable polycarbonate is I do not have to take the lens out all the way. Now normally you see me put the lens in through the front. This time I'm going to do it through the back just because of the way this metal facade is on the front of the frame. I will mark every lens ascent to you in the future, right or left, so you'll know what to do. And actually, if you'd like, I can take my water soluble blue pen and I can make a little nick right there so you know exactly where when you rotate it exactly where it's supposed to go and then you can just wipe it off with warm soapy water. I'm going to do a little bit of righty tighty to make sure it is in there all the way and it is. I'm going to again make sure everything is seated properly and it is. Go ahead and take the left lens, place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby or today I'm calling it the Luke. Flip that over to L, which is Latin for not right. Hit the green start button. The door closes. The clamp shuts. The lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making sure that it is large enough to fit into the left side of the frame. My headband needs to be tightened. It keeps sliding down. So you can see as it's tracing the shape of the left side, and then the old carpenter saying measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. And look at this. Look at this. You got no edge thickness there, Mark. None. You got none. So, let's go ahead and take the block off. Pull the sticker away. Use my hand-approved drying method. Add to my sticker collection. No, I'm not a hoarder. Come down here to the dusty and trusty Marco 101 lensometer. Turn the axis wheel to nothing because these are spherical lenses. All right, my dot has disappeared. Let me come down here to my progressive identifier. Every progressive lens has laser engravings. And the nice thing in this layout chart. Not only does it have laser engravings, this shows you what they look like. And with that on there, you can put that on there. And now place the dot. That's why your doctor's office will know that. Again, let me recap. <laughs> Come down here to the lensometer, put it in over that black dot. Read the power, and I am getting plus a quarter one tick mark away from zero going into the black positive numbers and that's because the unit of measurement in the optical world is called a diopter I'm trying to get this thing straight i'm sorry if it's crooked and you're on the first rung of a ladder you need the smallest amount of far-sided correction possible same amount for the left eye but you have half a diopter of astigmatism correction now this first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. This last number could be anywhere from 0 to 180. Now, this is called the add. This is the progressive full strength of the progressive power, which is 150. You add the, it's called the add because you add these two numbers together. If you were to buy over-the-counter reading glasses, you would get a 175 to see right here. At the computer, you'd probably get about a 1, 1 and a quarter. Now, this frame, the Oakley, 5141 deadbolt sells for $306 no matter what color it is. The Zeiss Progressive Lenses adds $149.99. The Photofusion Extra Gray $129.99 and the Gold Flash Mirror is $69.99 for a total of $655.97 tax free. The reason why I point out tax free now is that a lot of people on the internet are having to charge tax. I am in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device. And there is no tax collected on medical devices, so that's how I'm able to remain tax-free. Now, the state sales tax is 7.5%, so 655.97 times 7.5. That would be another $49.19 in tax that I don't have to ask that Mark can keep in his pocket. Or better yet, 
spend it on his loving son Luke for Christmas. So that's one more present he can buy since I don't charge tax. Now I can do lenses only for this frame in the future and you don't have to worry about the frame, just the lens price. This is getting aggravating. Aggravating. Hang on, hang on. Let me see if I can do something here. Let me get a rubber band or two. I'm going to tighten this up. Do the tighten up. Dun 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 Baby shark do 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 That's better. I think my head's getting smaller. That's why it's uh slipping down my elastic band. My waist is getting larger, but my head is getting smaller. So, I had a screwdriver, there it is. All right, so you got your glass baking dish, metal pan on the counter, stand on one leg, and hold this one up top like, or wait, do it? No, okay, whatever's comfortable. Lefty Lucy. And the other thing I do is I keep the frame upside down so the screw head does not fall out when possible. Tuck it in on the outside of the, on the back. Oop, I'm gonna have to take it out some more. Some more, a little bit of Lefty Lucy. All right, this thing's fighting me. There we go, there we go. All right, so again, I'm doing my best not to drop the screw. Pop that in there, make sure everything is seated properly. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that around with my finger on the screw, do a little bit of righty tighty. By the way, all opticians will tell you this is bad form. If the screwdriver slips, you stab yourself in the finger. Just wanna make sure that that metal piece is up north. Now, the other thing you do is take your cloth, put it against the edge of the table. I have a little rubber stopper here. The purpose of the cloth when you tighten it is to stop the frame from rubbing against a hard surface, protecting the finish of the frame. Pull the sticker away, use my hand approved drying method again, add to my glorious sticker collection, come down here to my, well I guess I don't need that anymore, be gone, to my lensometer, spin the axis wheel to 70, put it in over the black dot, read the power and I am getting same thing again, plus a quarter, one tick mark going away from zero towards one, and the black numbers, not the red minuses, the black pluses. Now we are going to get there, because now you, the second curve, you have plus a quarter here, which is the spherical component of your prescription. You have a steeper curve, that's steeper, here. And it's how we line those two curves up, that's 90 degrees away, how we line the two curves up to make everything nice and crisp. So let's read the second power. We are now in the red minus numbers. We went from a black plus a quarter to red minus a quarter. That's because if you had a quarter and you let someone and you owed someone 50 cents, you'd be a quarter in the red. That's where we're at. Now the last part of final inspection is to measure the pupillary distance and the optical center height. So I'm gonna turn the card around. The PD is 31 and 33, which makes 64. An optical center height of 25.5. Turn the card around, place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens, and when we hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 64 millimeters. Now, not to the bottom of the lens, but to the bottom of the deepest part of the metal, because your lens goes halfway into that metal frame, and we're getting 25.5. Twenty-five point five. Man, the kid is good. Now the other thing I want to do is as I clean your lenses, I mentioned there's free shipping anywhere in the U.S. Look at that, freeprescriptionlenses.com. Somebody is calling. Um, I'll just have to call them back. It is now, I don't know what time it is. So, but as I clean your lenses, I like to mention there's free shipping anywhere in the U.S. And Elgin, Illinois is still in the U.S. But when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. And that's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And I'm no different, and I'll show you in just a moment. But because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get them in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, when I say wobble... 
when I take mine off and press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me, and that's because I'm part of the 80%. I have one ear lower than the other. Now, those of you keeping score at home, I'm wearing my own design. This is the Christian Eyewear model number Philippians 413, which is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, and these come with a polarized magnetic clip-on. So, and I will soon have these... I was very much influenced by the Ray-Ban 2132 new Wayfarer. I sent this to the manufacturer. I told them to take the shield off the front. Do not put Ray-Ban on the side. Put the cross. Now these come with a three barrel hinge, meaning that two barrels on the temple and one barrel on the frame front. When you put those together and put the screw, that's three barrel. I went with the seven barrel hinge. I have four on the temple, three on the frame front. When you put the screw in there, that thing is locked in there and built like a tank. So, but if you'd like to see more of these, you can go to ChristianEyewear.com and click on Philippians 4.13. They currently have them in black, tortoise, and purple, but in a couple weeks, everything's in a couple weeks, isn't it? I'll have these in a dogwood, and I'll have them in the 55 and the 58 eye size. Makes a wonderful present for Christmas, and they will all come with a matching color. I just happen to have the tortoise here, but the black comes with black, the tortoise comes with a tortoise clip, the purple comes with purple, and... The dogwood, which has a wood grain, will come with that one. I'm going to put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing, yo. Flip this over, press down, make sure there is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and that neither temple is askew. Check the tension on each spring hinge. If one was tighter, I would loosen it. If one was looser, I would tighten it so that they're matching. Now, I send out a selfie request in every package. I would love to have two from you, Mark. One with them indoors where they're clear and then one outside when you can see the gold mirror i also send out cleaning instructions not only for your frame and lenses but for the premium microfiber cloth that i will provide with oakley's emblem right there but for the zeiss cleaning cloth that you're going to get your oakley cleaning cloth and instructions on how to care for the case so it too will last you for years no other seller does that on the internet i have been told but this is what your lenses look like clear. The photo fusion gray with the gold flash mirror. I'm going to go ahead and activate them. Now as you can see it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for all transitions photochromic lenses to darken. A little bit longer when you come back inside. 45 seconds to a minute, minute 15. Now this is important. Mark, Luke, and everyone else paying attention. All photochromic lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks or exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. The only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day, and that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now, if you have a convertible or a motorcycle, they will darken. Now, having said that, these Photofusion Extra Gray will get about 30 to 50% dark behind a windshield. They're also temperature sensitive, all photochromic lenses that is. They will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable, nobody or nothing works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work much better when it cools off. Now look at that, look at that. I was hoping it would come close. That's more of a bronze pewter color versus the gold, but that looks really, really cool. Now when you look out, you're going to see the dark gray. When people look at you, they're going to see that gold flash mirror, the, the amber gold mirror. Now, I was mentioning about the being temperature sensitive. Now, this is December. Most places it has gotten, it's no longer into triple digits. But these are designed for extra active people who spend extra amounts of time outside. Or if you just want the darkest lens possible, you can go with the extra active gray. The flash mirror is available in silver, gold, green, blue, red, and... Yeah, I'm sorry that it took so long, but the flash mirrors do seem to be taking a little bit longer this time of year. Everyone's trying to use their, the labs getting backed up. They're shorthanded with social distancing, but everyone's trying to use their vision insurance and flex dollars by the end of the year. As I keep talking, you will see these getting lighter and lighter. But I can do any power in here. I can do single vision. I can do the line style bifocal. I can do the progressive. The progressive with the photo fusion extra gray and the flash mirrors or with any of the Zeiss anti-glare coatings. I can do these as polarized sunglasses. You can get these as devoted sunglasses with a dark lens or even with a mirrored lens. You can choose from any of the mirror colors that you may want to do to 
to accent your frame. Now the purpose of this flash mirror, all sunglass lenses absorb the sun's rays. The mirror reflects it back, making it about 30 to 40 percent darker than just a tinted lens. So that the reason sunglass lenses are mirrored, it's not just for a cosmetic reason. True, you do look cool. But two, it reflects more of the sun's rays back, making the lens feel much darker. Now, as I keep talking, you will see these getting lighter and lighter. But uh, do me a favor, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you'll get notified every time there's a new frame and lens combination. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram as Free Prescription Lenses. On Twitter as Free RX Lenses. You can email me directly if there's, um, again, a couple weeks, I'll have all the Oakleys up on the website. But if there's an Oakley you want until then, email me at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com or simply click the contact me button on the website. You can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below. But Mark and his son Luke, who Mark loves so much in Elgin, Illinois, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the purchase of the of the Zeiss Photo Light D digital freeform progressive lenses with the Photo Fusion Extra Gray and the Gold Amber Flash Mirror for the Oakley 5141 Deadbolt in color 03, the Satin Chrome. But thank you for watching, and now hopefully everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you.